Apology, apologies that I'm in my Sainsbury's uniform here. Yeah, you can tell I work there now. Um, I've just literally came out and finished my shift at 10 o'clock just to hear the news tonight um, that um, Catamall has left Sunderland. Um, kind of mixed emotions for me really on that, but I thought as I was coming out I wanted to do a video on it just because catamull has been one of my favourite players watching playing for Sunderland. Now, I know he's got a love-hate relationship with some fans. I personally don't get people who hate him. I think that it's a bit um, just because he was associated with the bad times that we've had as a football club, but that's not Catamull's fault specifically, and he's one of the few players that actually cared about the team when he went out onto the pitch. There was a time I questioned it, to be fair, but I do genuinely think that he actually gave a monkeys about what was going on behind the scenes and on the pitch when the players weren't performing, which was quite regular until recently. But anyway, um, good luck to him. Uh, I think he deserves a fresh challenge. I think that certainly if he feels it, I think probably now is a good time to do it when for him personally, he's had his best scoring season. And yeah, you can say it's League One and all that. But, you know, I think that it, it kind of makes me in a way a little bit more gutted we didn't get promoted because that would have been a perfect send off for Catamol to sort of end on and go out on a high. Um, but if you look at it from a financial perspective, it does make sense that if we get rid of one of the, if we get rid of Catamol Oviedo as the big earners and say if we would keep, if we were to keep McGeady, that's straight. I think that if I had to, I think someone's asked me on Twitter, I uh, can't remember who it was, but they said I think they were, they had to, I think there was something like they might have had to choose between Catamol, McGeady, and Oviedo, and they've chosen McGeady out of them three. If I had to pick one. Out of them three, yes, I would definitely pick McGeady all day long. I think that Denver Hume's more than capable of replacing Oviedo. And I think when you look at it from midfield, we've got, um, you know, Ledbetter, McGeoch and Power. And you've got Bally Mumba potentially coming through. You've got Elliot Embleton. If he decides to sign a new contract, we don't know on that yet. But at least you have four ready-made replacements there. Um, I think we lack, sometimes I think we've lacked that tenacious... Um, tenacity, rather, that Catamore has tended to offer, um, to offer when he's on the pitch. Uh, and I, I think people just don't understand how big a play like that can be in your side. Look, don't get us wrong, um, am I gutted he's left? I would say I'm sad that he's left, but I wouldn't say I'm devastated, just purely from a financial perspective. Because imagine then, if we were to go out and get some top quality players who could really help us push up and try and get promoted next season. Um, now I think if you get rid of Oviedo, then, you know, the, the wiggle room for wages is huge. You're probably saving about 70, at least 70k between them a week. So we've probably saved about 40k by letting this deal happen. There's rumours I think that Catmull's going to Sheffield Wednesday. Would, that's probably where he's going to end up to reunite with Steve Bruce. And I hope he does well there. Wherever he does, Cats, if you watch it, somehow if you wouldn't, you wouldn't be watching this, but if you were, thank you for what you've done for Sunderland. Thank you for the servant that you've been. And, you know, we need to get a testimonial sorted if we can. As far as very quickly, I will mention Conor McLaughlin, for, uh, the ex-Millwall fullback. Uh, so we've now got the team of McLaughlins by the looks of it. Um, you know, that's quite, that's at least good. I think he's a right back apparently. I know he's a fullback, but I think someone said he's a right back. So that's good. It looks like we've gone out and got someone who can play there. Now we just need to crack on and get some quality signings through the door. I love you and leave these guys and see you later. Hopefully some more good transfer news soon.